Okay guys, here's my new spaceship design. It's also going to be a submarine. I'm fixing to test that out now because it's going to take a while to outfit the, th outfit the thing with the oxygen necessary for space flight. Alright, I had some deployment issues, so what I'm going to do is put it on top of this wooden plank with dynamite. It should work. Alright, well the plank's on fire now. We're falling. We're in the water. show you how good of a rocket it makes next, then we'll cut to some commercial breaks. Are you tired of this? If so, you've come to the right place. I mean, just look at it. That's right, kids. Nig be gone. Let's, hear, let's play the song. N. I. G. Be gone in I G be gone in I G be gone. That's the neighborhood song. Yay! Do you have neighborhood problems? Do you have problems with neighbors? Do you have problems with the way your neighbors keep your yards? Keep their yards. Do you have a problem with the color of your neighbor's skin? If so, you've come to the right place. Let's see how we handle a typical situation. You can clearly see the lawn is overgrown, and oh, look at this trash everywhere, dead. And look at this, obviously high, hungover. And worst of all, look at them. Look, do you notice anything different? Do you? Look. We'll show you how to rid yourself of these problems. We'll show you how to go from this to this. Problem solved. And look how neat the grass is. Now you see, with some of our employees coming to your house, look what we can accomplish in only a few short hours. See, look. Oh, look. See, look. They're e they're even bad when they're dead. You see that? They're even th they're even dangerous to society when they're dead. Look at that. Sorry. Okay. First up, don't sputter. Don't be like, come on, we win. Nobody can hear you. You'll understand, Seth. See, look, there's even dangerous to society when they're dead. Look at that. Killed a guy. Oh, well. Barbecue tonight. And for those of you that prefer a more high-tech method, we do have this instant kill box. You just step inside, put on the recommended safety harness, and press the button. I will now demonstrate for you what this does. Now here, we just simply have to cross this body of water, and I can come and show you what this does. Alright, now you'll see, we have some of the problems here. Now we just turn it on by pressing the magic button. Now, admittedly, this is one of the more expensive models, although it is more efficient. Now next I'll show you one of our simplest methods we have. And here's one of our more efficient, well it's not the most efficient, but it is uh, one of the quickest I would have to say. It works really well too. And it's cheap. Now I know what you're saying. What if they form an angry mob and start chasing you Shouldn't with shotguns? Doing something? This is your solution. Here at Farmer Golaski's Watermelon Patch we have found the solution. See, they just can't help but to run through it. And when they do... Just be careful not to stand too close yourself. Use with caution. Parental advisory is recommended. Or for some of you with a more, um, 
distasteful stomach, let us say. We always have the zoo we're trying to start. I said dance! And now we will show you what happens to those who refuse to obey orders. Not only that, but... Yeah, he's not gonna survive that at all. It isn't. And as I said, but remember, this one is for the weaker of heart. Or you know, if you just want to see your problem disappear, there's no better way. Just call us. We will solve all your problems. But if you don't pay your bill, we'll mail them back. And as I intend to show you, they can be lured into the simplest of traps just using a little bit of, then again, watermelon. Chasing me with a shotgun, I don't like that at all. Come on, in here. Watermelon, come on. What's the matter, Trip? And when you get them lured in there, yeah. And when you're all finished, what better way to celebrate than with fireworks? And then rain more litter down upon your yard. But still, looks pretty nice. And now, after a word from those nice sponsors, we're back with my spaceship that we are fixing to take up into space. However, I'm going to cut the camera here and do a few modifications, you know, install life support systems, put on some solar panels so I'm not instantly out of power. I have to put on a few extra batteries as well. So, you know what they say. Cut. Cut. And we are clear for liftoff. Just breaking free of the ground. And my friends, we're in space. Got life support functioning. Not spinning erratically yet. At, it, at most, I have 270 seconds of energy. If I redesign the ship, I gotta put more electricity on the thing. I do have, um, solar cells on this thing. Stop the spinning. I have a really good control system on this one as well, I think. Alright, that's the planet we just left from. I don't care what we hit, we just gotta hit one Sorry, my own control system is confusing me here. Oh boy. Well, we landed. 
See if it's breathable on the surface. Seems to be an oxygen, nitrogen based atmosphere. Luckily for me, I actually brought an atmosphere probe on board, so let me just cut to me getting that out real quick. Alright, here we are. I don't have much energy left. You can see the uh, solar cells I put on my ship. And I got my atmospheric probe out. Let's see. Oh, I still have some energy. Temperature 288. I'm assuming that's not on the Fahrenheit scale. Um, hydrogen levels within normal CO2 building, but still breathable. O2 level, 20%. Yeah, this planet's mostly nitrogen-based atmosphere. It would not hurt to, uh... I see it's got some water, that's nice. It would not hurt at all to plant a few plants around here. Get a higher O2 level than CO2. There's actually a space station out there I wanted to aim for. It seems this planet's mostly frozen over. Well, this was just beautiful. Looks like I'm going to have to get back home and tell them what I found out about this planet. Launch a colonizing ship. A colony ship out here. This is just a little explorer craft. I desperately need some electricity before I take off anywhere. Though.